So hey everybody, welcome to the first Saturday of the Carry the Weight Sandbag Challenge, and we're going to start a new tradition here, and we're going to call it Saturday Shoutouts. Um, I realize that Canines for Warriors might not be the preferred charity of everybody listening and watching, so I thought I'd give some options and also take the opportunity to highlight some efforts that other folks are doing in support of combating veteran suicide and a whole bunch of other causes. Um, we've got a lot of weeks between now and November 10th, so if you know of a small charity or a small effort that isn't getting a whole lot of publicity and you'd like to see it get even less, uh, send it to me and uh, and we'll do it on a Saturday. Shout out to all of my 30 Instagram and six YouTube followers. Uh, it's the first week, it's gonna grow or it won't. Either way, I'm gonna keep giving credit where it's due and highlighting the efforts of folks who are trying to help other people. Um, first one is called Combat Warriors Inc. And they run programming, primarily hunting and fishing in Arizona, uh, Nebraska, North Carolina, Texas, and Wyoming, and they take veterans out on some big game hunts, get them reconnected to the outdoors, reconnected to each other, um, and they run really good programming. Another one is called Patrol Base Abate, and they run out of um, a location in Montana, in big sky country, and they do a whole series of programs based around shared interests for veteran groups. Uh, you've got some who are into jujitsu or working out or reading and there's a book club, there's, uh, there's programming for female veterans specifically, and they're doing really, really good work. Um, there's Battle Dogs, D-A-W-G-S. They do outdoor rehab uh, programming based in Alaska, and what I like about them is it's multi-phased. Um, for the first time a veteran goes in, they go in as kind of a recipient, and then they'll build them up to be a mentor and eventually a leader of these groups. So you, um, just like we're all used to, in the service, you start out being trained and then you take over those responsibilities of mentorship and development. And I think that's fantastic because a big part of um, the transition from military life to civilian is kind of that loss of self, that, that, that loss of a sense of leading and developing and helping other people. Um, and Battle Dogs gives that back to veterans who really, really need it. Uh, and then the final one is called Hunts of Honor. And they run out of South Carolina. They do fully output, outfitted and guided hunts and, and outdoor trips. Um, and one of the things I really like about that one is one of their primary fundraising activities is they hold raffles for high-end bourbon. Um, I've never won, I've joined a bunch, but even if you're not into the cause, it's a good chance to, to put yourself in line to win a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle or Weller, or some of the other harder to find bourbons if that's what you're into. If you're not, and you know somebody who is, you can help two people at once. You can help Hunts of Honor by entering the raffle, and then if you win, you can help a bourbon lover that you like by giving them that that uh, that winning bottle. Um, check out all of these organizations. I'm gonna put the links in the post, and I'm gonna tag them in all the social media accounts. Um, and after I finish editing and posting this video, I'm gonna go to every single website, and if they have merch, I'm gonna buy merch. And if they don't have merch, if I can't get a t-shirt and a sticker, then I'll donate uh, the equivalent amount. Um, give them the support, give them the looks, give them the exposure, give them another follower. Um, it's really easy to help a lot of these organizations and a lot of these efforts simply by following, by viewing their videos, by clicking like, uh, showing the engagement and the reach that they're having, and that helps them to convince donors and other organizations to help them out. Um, it takes next to no effort on our part, and that's why we're going to do this every Saturday. If you have an organization or an, an effort that you'd like to see highlighted, send it my way. I've got a few already in the hopper. This one kind of kept to a theme. Uh, but again, we're doing this through November, so there's all the time in the world and all the opportunity in the world to get, this, get the word out. It doesn't have to be specific to veteran support. It can be any charitable or otherwise just people doing good things. Uh, we want to give shout outs where it's doing. We want to give exposure to those people who don't have the national level exposure or the international exposure. Thanks. Can't wait to see you again. And we'll see you the next time I'm walking with a bag on my back.